everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. My name is Jamie, I'm your host, and this is our angel-haired hipster, Curtis, and our happy Honduran, Eddie. <laughs> Today, be happy. Be happy. I'm so happy. Be, no, be, be happy happier. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think you're going to be happy once you see what we have underneath the uh, really? napkin Oh, here. we have a nice... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Hey. Only available at the distillery. And... Who do you think helped us get it? Uh, My guess, our friend Matt from Ben's. Our friend Matt from Ben's loaned us this bottle so that we could do a review on the show. And this is what? Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Can we open it? Yeah. Yeah. Boom! Go ahead. Go ahead. Great! I see Cedar Ridge. That's our uh, home distillery, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real close. uh, Single cast. Mm -hmm. Silver label. This is the one that everybody talks about. The chocolate cherry. Mm, okay. Chocolate. I don't know where the chocolate flavor comes from. And the, the cherry is a cherry wood finish. They use cherry wood kegs to finish it. Oh. Or they use spirals. I don't know. But there's cherry wood in So that's why they call it chocolate cherry. I was thinking. Yeah. Totally. So, so this is. But see, he spelled it weird. He said chocolate cherry. I thought cherry was like with a S-H when it was about the barrels. No, it's about cherry. That's sherry. Sh- sherry, not Sh- with your cherry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, the C-H's and the S-H's, man, not, not, my, not, my, not my PowerPoint. Here. <laughs> so this is barrel 39, bottle number 64. Uh, so this is very exclusive. And it says here, from discerning ingredients, selecting to a skilled fractioning, blending, and bottling, taste ex- the expertise of our artisan bring to our bottle of Cedar Ridge Dark Aged Spirits. It is to be whiskey make in a cask aged single malt, a Cedar Ridge with deliver delicate flavor that can be only be created in the mellowing the finest ingredients into the finest barrels. Toast tradition to our single malt whiskey. Enjoy. You can only buy it in the distillery. Well, I get it at the distillery. Uh, I haven't had a chance to get down there for a while. Uh-huh. So, so when... When Matt over at Ben said, "Hey, take this home, do a show on it, mm-hmm. bring whatever's left back." Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Good luck. But <laughs> good luck, <laughs> Matt from Ben's. <laughs> You're not going to drink it all. No, <laughs> I'm not going to allow it. <laughs> no, I want to say you will only allow well. Matt has always been helpful to us, um, and I highly Holy suggest crap. you go to his Facebook page, check out the Ben's Beverage Depot website, mm-hmm. um, check out Cedar Ridge, go to their outside of Swisher. Um, as I'm sure that Matt has helped us out with the show with the the whiskey there. Yeah, he's definitely helping us out by telling us to his customers to go to the, our YouTube page and hit subscribe. Which will be where's the button at, Eddie? Uh, the button would be over here, right here. It's, uh, a little bell. it's a little that. bell. Just hit that. And if you want to leave any comments, go ahead. I mean, we, we like anything. We like that. Okay. This is only available at the distillery. And oh. I was at a tasting here all oh, two weeks ago. And a young woman came up, and there was a representative from uh, Cedar Ridge there. Mm-hmm. Charming young lady. Like her a lot. And uh, and she uh, was just absolutely bashing. Why didn't you bring any of this here? Well, I have to drive all the way down there. I don't have to go all the way across. I, you. And she was just going on and on. <laughs> woman, on and on about how she loved this so much. It was the most incredible whiskey. And why isn't it available anywhere except the distillery? It sells out really quick. Really? Uh, now, I've never had it. This is my first opportunity. Okay, dude. Oh, my gosh. Did you smell To the it? nose. Yeah. To the nose. It is chocolate and cherry, and it explodes. It's like we're having cake over here. It does. Uh, the chocolate it's explodes. Good. Yeah. The cherry is, is more subtle. Mm-hmm. But it's like I never smelled whiskey that smelled like chocolate, which is, uh, dude, that's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Burn? Uh, I just tasted it, and it reminded me of a lot of the like stouts that I've had that have some kind of bell pepper characteristics to them. It is very, it, it has that dark, dark chocolate characteristic. Now I'd like to know where the chocolate's coming from. Yeah, me too. Oh, me too. I mean, because, you know, I don't think they're just dumping chocolate into the barrel. I don't know if it's coming from a whole chocolate bean. I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, maybe powder? Maybe cacao powder? I'm wondering if it's coming from chocolate husks. Really? Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know if you've ever used chocolate hu- husks when you're doing things around the house. Like, I uh, 
used to use them as uh, implanters and stuff to, mm-hmm. to to form a layer to prevent weeds from coming out. Okay. Chocolate's really good for that. Do you burn it? No, no. Okay. But the smell well, if anybody, right there. If anybody does know the answer, um, I know there are some fans of Cedar Ridge Whiskeys. They're big time fans of it. Mm-hmm. And if they could comment in there, you know, uh, I'll promote that back into our Facebook page and our fans could see it better. Well, maybe um, maybe some of Cedar Ridge could comment. Yeah, if you definitely could. And maybe they don't want to tell you where the chocolate's coming from. It's got some, it's stronger. The it's alcohol stronger. is 47%. I, saw. Ooh, I, don't, I don't get light at all. I mean, it is a very intense, full-flavored whiskey. I see why everybody's going crazy for it, though. Yeah. Why everybody's asking for it and looking for it. Yeah. This is a... It's a. It's like a chocolate-covered cherry. Mm-hmm. Tr- that, that... Like Valentine's Day, yeah, I think no, this is The cherry is there. The cherry wood is there, but not the cherry flavor. Mm-hmm. I mean, there you can taste the cherry wood. And I'm getting chocolate at first and then the cherry. Yeah. Yeah. It's but but it's, not, it's not I like, like a maraschino yes, cherry right. with sweetness. It is like cherry wood. So, what you're so we're talking SH cherry. No. No. CH. No. CH. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like, okay, I used to build musical instruments. Mm-hmm. And you could make, you could use uh, cherry wood to make some guitars. Mm-hmm. Now, now. It's an odd wood to use for an acoustic guitar, but it really makes a unique sounding guitar. Mm-hmm. And I remember the scent of that wood cutting it in mm-hmm. order to make right. yeah, a guitar. And right. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I sense that. I don't sense the the uh, the maraschino cherry, the cherry off of the va- off of the tree. What what I sense is the wood. The wood. The wood is what I really am getting there. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a different taste. It's complex. And it's really interesting. It's not the cherry flavor that you would associate with cherry. It is the wood. Mm-hmm. And somehow they nailed the chocolate, so it tastes like a really high-end chocolate. I think it's, nice. it's going to be this hard is, to return this bottle back dude, to Matt. This, <laughs> this is by far. This Did Matt know what he, He's had it before then, right? I assume. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay, had so it before. he knew what he was doing. Okay. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. He had his cherry before, okay. And you got to remember, Cedar Ridge started in, in the back room mm-hmm. at Ben's. Mm-hmm. That's where they originally were. Really? There's a wonderful restaurant there now that you might want to go and try if you happen to be in the area. Mm-hmm. What's the name of that restaurant, Burn? I believe it's Lightworks. Lightworks, that's right. And they have some really wonderful food there. Where's this at? Down at Ben's. In, 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 in behind. Oh, okay. Behind okay. Ben's. What? Behind Ben's. Behind, behind Ben's. Ben's. Yeah. yeah. Beans! Yeah, and, and, and that's where Cedar Ridge was until they opened the larger facility out in in Swisher. Swisher. Yeah. Yeah. Swisher. on what old 218 heading to Iowa City yeah I'll put the uh, address under the on the bar at the bottom yeah. yeah you can't miss it it's right along the highway yeah and uh, they have a good restaurant too they do they have some really nice food uh, great job on this whiskey yes. incredible job on this whiskey nice job Jeff start making grappa <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you know what if you want to go out on a date and want to take somebody uh, a nice girl there it's a nice place to just walk around I mean oh. you, you can walk around all over there when you go there they're, they're spring, in summer yes it, the scenery is just amazing it, yes. it looks like you're somewhere in Italy or, or something like that yeah they, and they got live bands mm-hmm. I mean it's 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 a uh, it's a it's, it's I really like their St. Pippin. Their St. Pippin wine is wonderful dessert wine. Okay. Yeah. Just letting you know, I think their St. Pippin is, is exceptional. Yeah. And they do have really good deals on wines if you're in the property too. Like uh I mean I I bought some stuff and I bought the whole bottle and it was so much inexpensive and I thought it was great. But it's just, it's not just about it's really an experience when you go there, and that's that, I think that's what people like. It's a neat too. place to visit. Yeah, um, and they support local musicians, which I really like. Yeah, that's me too. True. This is really really good. Yeah, um, it's a huge surprise. I I didn't know exactly what to expect, and it really it really knocked it out of the park. I think so. I mean, uh, you know, we've had some rye before. We had the six year old rye here before. I think. We had the, their five year, their five year, and I bourbon. really like that, you know, for rye. But I think for bourbon, I think this is one of my favorites right here. I like it a lot. This is a, this isn't necessarily a bourbon though. This is their single, single malt whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's a bourbon. No. Okay. No, but chocolate cherry finish. If you want it, you gotta go to the you distillery, gotta or you gotta have a connection with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. It helps having good friends, and uh, it helps uh, that we're all getting connected and we're all kind of working together. Mm-hmm. Um, don't forget to hit our like, subscribe, comment buttons, and on top of that, 
for? All for one. One for all. One for all.